It's about that time to give you a look into week seven as the big three heads on over to Chicago and Milwaukee. To my right, giving you the rundown every single week right here from Snoop Dogg's Compound, director of Big Three Basketball Operations, my boy, the one and only Thomas Scott. Let's head on over to Allstate Arena, Thomas. Tri-State, two and three, taking on Ghost Ballers, two and three. Break it down. This is a make or break game for both teams. Uh, really excited to see this one. Is we got new additions right now. You know, Carlos Boozer has been waived and picked up by power. But also, they have picked up Solomon Jones, Ghost Ballers. Nice. And they've also made a trade for Jamario Moon and got Chris Johnson. Very nice. Very exciting to see, but can their chemistry pick up right away on this big game? Because you know, Tri-State, they played well last week. They played, they had Rob Hyde hit that game winner. Amari Stoudemire played his best game of the season. And they're coming out for blood. Absolutely. Let's get on over to game two. The 2018 Big Three champions, four and one power, taking on the three and two enemies. Big game for both teams right here. T. Scott, let them know. Well, we get to see Carlos Boozer in a power jersey, which should be exciting. But also, you got Corey Maggetti coming back in town. Julian Wright coming back in town. Balling, too. Yeah, back to Chicago. And Q Rich, can't forget about those guys. So I anticipate those guys coming out strong, hot, and really electrifying the crowd. Uh, also, if you look at enemies, they need this win because they can go up with the elite. They're three and two, powers four and one, so you know they can be right up there with the best of the best of them. And so let's see what Craig Smith, Royce White, and Perry Jones can put together because when they're clicking, they're a tough team to deal with. Do the champions get back Birdman? You got an update on that, Thomas? Well, unfortunately, Birdman will be out this week. You know, he injured himself pretty bad with his knee, but they're not losing anything. I think you got guys that are willing to step up, like Julian Wright, who's playing out of his mind, and we'll see. Absolutely. Okay, the final game of the afternoon. This is going to be a big one for all big three fans. It's going to have you on the edge of your seat. I can guarantee you that. Four and two killer threes taking on the three and three bivouac. Break it down. Well, it's going to be a Royal Rumble, and I can't wait. And I hope you can either, because this is the game everybody really wants to see. You got Steven Jackson, who's now going by Wacko Jacko. Uh-oh. Whatever that means. Going up against Josh Smith, who's never going to back down. So I can't wait to see that. And then you got Will Bynum back in town. Yes. Man, it seems like he's playing in cleats and everybody's on roller skates. And I don't know why. But guess what? You got another guy like that, Frank Nitty. Frank Nitty is back, and C.J. Watson played great. And those two guys are hard to stay in front of. And also, you got Eddie Curry back in Chicago. Very nice. So, you know, this is a tough one. Killer Three is five and two, four and three bivouac. They both need this game to prepare for the playoffs. Okay, and remember, wow, in Salt Lake City, Killer Three's got that L and Bivouac got that W. So whoever's on that momentum, whether it's Bivouac trying to take it because they got that momentum to take another game, or Killer Three's trying to avenge that loss. Because we taking the summer and just playing the best. It's the big three on CBS.